<laughs> so I'll do my best. I'm on coffee. Cool. All right. So what's been happening since the retreat and, and what's the, what's the number one thing we can, we can get done today? Uh, um, what I've done is just tried to set a few ground rules for my employee while I try to um, run or try to plan for the internship. Um, I watched your video, I guess a week or so ago about the internship. And I just, I don't feel I have enough steady leads to make that worthwhile right now. Okay. And that plus, uh, um, I'm having a pretty shitty sales month this month, just due to, um, circumstances. Okay. It, I'm like lead, way is, under. Is it getting leads and sales up still the main priority to work on today then? I think I'm going to take yours and Nick's advice and try to launch or quickly launch um, a small group program as a pilot and see if that's viable. Uh, compared, compared to what? Um, again, it's um, just viable for the space because as I mentioned, I still don't have my own place. So I'm still using like um, a public gym, so to speak. So if I have like a big group Okay. Or in prime time, PM, would that be, you know, a bother for too many people? Would it look like just terrible or would I be able to pull it off? So, okay. So, okay, cool. So pretty much, um, yeah, keep it short term then just to like launch as a test, maybe like a 21 day, 28 day kind of thing. Yeah. So it's like a 28 day just before like, yeah, just before the, the um, September. So I'm trying to okay. launch it in 10 days. So I'm trying to get the first email out tomorrow afternoon and then the second one on Monday afternoon and then try to do some sort Right, of are you gonna run ads to get to get prospects in as well? Um, yeah, probably, so just due to that lower price point. Yeah, I think that might be viable. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I haven't thought about ad stuff. I was just trying to craft my email all day today. So yeah, I think ads, Probably. definitely ads. How many sales, what, what are you charging for it? And how many sales do you think you'll get through email alone? Uh, I have a list of um, like about 150 people. Plus I'm going to email everyone that's contacted me and didn't sign up for one-on-one -on -one training within the last year and a half or so. So okay. yeah, that's about 200 people I can email. Um, pricing. I watched, yeah, I think I watched another one of your videos that you said like 350 quid minimum. Something like that. Is that the number? Yeah, uh, 350 quid. For, so that's like. So that's for small group ongoing training. Yeah, like usually yeah. Um, two, about, 200, about $200 minimum or, or you know. Okay. Um, per month. Um, but this is this is a standalone package itself so it doesn't have it that this is a front end offer not a back end program yeah because I, I can make it a little bit cheaper just to get people in the door and then try to sell them on the right i would i would program. make it the same i would make it the same or a bit more of your well whatever you're planning if you're planning to do ongoing um small yeah. groups if this works out yeah. and you want to do month to month small groups you want to think about what price that's going to be Yes. And this price would need to be the same or even a little bit higher. A little bit higher. Okay. Yeah. Cause I was, because, Oh no, no, you could do it. You could do it less for the first time only because when you've got ongoing customers and you want to launch this again, yeah. you can't yeah. charge less than a regular month or your, your customers are going to say, well, let me just do this this month because it's cheaper than what I'm paying you. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm a little bit, so yeah, that's, that's just what I've been just thinking about the last two hours. Um, it's also, but it's I think I have it somewhere between. Go on. Uh, I'm sorry. I have it like somewhere between, I just like, like number psychology right now. I have it somewhere between um, $390 and $450. Okay. Well, whatever. You, know, you, can try, you can try it out. It's only a 21 day test, you know, it has yeah. like, and it, you know, you can always do it. If you did it less the first time, it could be more expensive the next time you run it. So everyone will forget it's the it's the pilot so you get yeah. i would pretty much just look at 
don't don't think of the pricing how much money you're gonna make you gotta start with yeah. what's, your, what's your real intention it's to get enough interest to potentially do an actual to get long-term clients right that's so right. that's right you want to think about what's the minimum number of long-term clients you want to get from this mm. like is it like kicking off one group like having a solid group of four month to month would that be a nice a nice finish point so the group of four for ideally yeah get one time slot sold out and then potentially based on um demand second yeah. time slot sold out of three or four cool. people so one to two so times that slots filled idea. out that'll give you a nice basis right and you know you can reevaluate yes. run the challenge again so if you yes. know you're looking to say five let's say five signups you're looking for right or six let's say six right so you have maybe three and yes. three or four and two right the last yes. thing was one person on their own but you know um yes. let's say you have six people right so then we're going to estimate some numbers and say right well if if I want six people to definitely carry on at the end of this, how many mm -hmm. might we need to actually do the whole 28 day thing? Um, I would actually probably make it 21 days too. Anything that sells personal training, they don't need, because it's, it's small groups, it's more intensive. They don't need as long yeah. to get results. I think 21 days is enough and it's a more qualified audience. So if they know in two weeks they like it, they'll ask you, how do I do this every month? They won't, they won't mess around, right? So generally 21 days is the most I'll ever give as a lead in for a personal training program. Mm. And you can still charge a good amount for 21 days, right? Um, okay. So I would do like 21 days and then, and that would be probably the, that 21 days would be about the price you're going to charge for month to month or not far off, right? Or a bit less, it could be, right? But Okay, so use the but, same price for the 21 day. Well, we'll, month, we'll, come, we'll come back. We'll revisit that. But um, but generally, so if you want six back-end okay. clients, right, then maybe we say, maybe we need to get, well, actually, you know, um, Tracy, one of our clients, she does this. She does a $97 21-day front-end program and then sells into a $150 program. And she converts about, uh, 40% of the challenges into long term, right? So let's let's use 40% as a guideline. So if you mm. want six, um, if you want six to be ongoing, then we'd want you know 12, 18, uh, about about 15, probably about 12 to 15 doing the challenge, right? Let's say 12. Maybe hmm. 15. Yeah. So if 15 people are do the 21 day program in small groups, yeah. Uh, if 15 do it, six of them, at least six, will want to carry on month to month. Okay. Right. So let's say we're aiming for 50. So we're aiming for 15 people to do this, or four, eight, 12, six, or 16. Right. Four. So you see, so now, you, now you've got some structure. You tell people, right, we've got four groups of four. We've got 16 yeah. people maximum for this program we're taking. It's a trial program. Now I'm test driving it and I'm looking for 16 men or women or whatever. I'm looking for 16 people, right? Are you going to target the men and women? Um, I, I hopefully mostly women because for men, I'm going to have to charge more just due to the, um, or my gym charges more for guys than girls so it's kind of messed up what? so i don't know okay. how to advertise that correctly yeah they, they treat it like a nightclub so the men charge pay two hundred dollars the women pay a hundred dollars it's an issue wow that's so sexist yeah. right i feel violated as a man right um okay so yeah. uh yeah. okay well let's say women okay let's go women just as good um, so you see, it, we've got 16 women, 16 spots. You'll be allocated into a group of up to four yeah. people, right? And, yeah. you know, and um, so that's six, we got a target of 16, right? Um, so now when you run, you, you'll have ads running to a simple capture page of like, hey, you know, the ad will say, well, you, you know, the stuff we've shown you in the past, the ad cool. is going to be the same thing. We're looking for 16 women for an upcoming challenge. Here's what it's all about. Here's what you get. 
Um, you know, here's the investment maybe if you want to put it on the ads up to you. They click, they opt in on, they opt in on the next page, name, email, phone number, very quick, yep. simple landing page. You've seen it. Boom, yep. opt in here to apply. It's 16 spots. You need to apply. It's by application only. Yeah. They opt in. Yeah. They apply. Um, if they apply or not, you phone call, you've got the phone number, you call them up anyway. So you call them up, yeah. up straight away and say, hey, you know, or call, wait 10 minutes, call them up. And it's either, oh, hey, I just got your application came through. Great, we'll talk soon. Uh, or if they haven't done the application yet, you can still call them and say, hey, about 10 minutes ago, you, you opted in. I haven't seen your application form yet. Do you need any help with that? Mm. So you want to get them to the application off. form, yeah? Um, and okay. it's the same link I showed you before that we use for our gym. We run the exact same, we're still running it, right? So um, okay. they'll fill out the form, you know, why do you need a coach? Why not do it alone? all these qualifying questions, like we're working groups of four, it's gonna be very intensive. Are you, you know, are you willing to commit to get the result in 21 days? Um, all the objections you might have, we just, we filter them out on the, on the application form. You know, we say, there's gonna be maybe a nutrition component with this. We expect you to follow the nutrition plan. Are you willing to do that? Yes or no? Um, you know, there is, a, there is a, a nominal investment of $400 or whatever it is. Uh, are you willing yeah. to invest in yourself to get this result and work with a work with a professional trainer? Yep. If they take yes to all those things, then good. We we can call them up, have a chat, uh, and take the money over the phone. Hmm. You know, or either you take the money over the phone, or maybe you set it up so that they they pay on the first day or something. Okay. You know, so it's up to you. But if if they if they you we usually just take money over the phone. Like, okay, we'd like to say you, you're accepted, you know, we have a chat on the phone. Uh, it's the right yeah. thing for you. Let's get you on. There's, there's, you know, nine spots left. Let's get you in. Which time slot do you want? We've got four groups. Um, yeah. And then, you know, and then, right. So payment is $400. Do you want to do it over, you know, online form or credit card or whatever it might be? Take, yeah. Get the payment over the phone. If they really have a resistance to it on the phone, if they, I've never had a problem yeah. with it, but if they do and they say they want to pay when they come in, then you've just got to be yeah. careful that they pay before they start the workout. Because what some people might try and do is come in, have a workout yeah. and at the end, you go like, and they go, well, you know, it's not really, I don't really think it's for me. Well, it's not how it works. You've come yeah. in, you, really, you say, well, okay, that's fine. I'm going to, I've got to charge you a hundred dollars for this session then. And, and another 50 for taking up to, for, for claiming a spot, which I had to turn down other people for, because you said you were doing this. Yeah. So, you know, but you shouldn't even get to that point. That's not good. But if so, they yeah, come in on the day, yeah. you let them know, oh, you're going to pay on the day? No problem. But um, you at least need to take a deposit over the phone. So you're going to say like, you know, I've got 30 applications to call who want the spot. If you really want it, I'm going to have to take a non-refundable deposit of $100 before you pay the rest on the day. Because if they don't show up, you turn down other people. Yeah. You've turned away 400 bucks. You said the spot was taken by someone and then they just decided they don't want to do it. You can't yeah. run a business like that. So, so you've got to be very strict on the phone. Let, like, no, they either, they're going to pay on the phone or they're going to pay a, a non-refundable deposit on the phone. If they want to pay the rest on day one, they pay a deposit now and they pay the rest before the workout starts or they don't, yeah. they don't get let onto the, onto the workout floor. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, but with the audience you're targeting, that shouldn't, they shouldn't have a problem. You know, they're more professional. No, no, I, it's the GPs. Normally for that, I've never had one. Although I have, I have one right now, kind of the guy, I think the guy's hesitant. He's trying to, he's trying to come in for just one week and then I'm like trying to lay down the deposit because he wants all prime time spots. Yeah. 6 p.m., 6 p.m., 7.30 a.m. Like, yeah, I don't think so. Not without deposit. So he's if, someone that, that as well. if someone says, can I just do one week of the 21 days? You say, sure, and you charge them half. Mm. And yeah. you say, I'll say, what I'll do is, I'm, you say, because I've got so many guys who are dedicated and are, and are paying up front to do this, I know I'll fill those spots. So there's really no benefit to me giving you a lower program, right? Because it's going to fill. So what I'll do is, um, you know, I'm going to, we're going to, I'm going to charge you half the money. K 
okay, only 200 bucks. You can do the first week, and then if you like it and you wanna carry on, I'll then bill you the remaining half to finish the program. Oh. If you don't like it, well, you've just paid 200 bucks anyway, and that's your problem. Got it. Right, there's always ways around this thing, right? It's just, you gotta stand up for yourself and, and give good value. So you've only got 10 days before you launch this, right? So you need to get this going pretty yeah. quick. Yeah, pretty um, quick. But I would think about, so think about, um, if, if you're looking, so if you did some rough numbers, I mean, if you want 16 yeses, maybe you'll need to speak to about 20, 25 applicants on the phone. Ooh. Maybe less, but let's say 25 to be conservative. So if you want 25 yes. applications, you might then need you know, let's assume, you know, if 50% uh, opt in and then complete the form and 50% don't, let's just say you want 50 opt ins. So you want 50 opt in, 50 opt in the first page, 25 of them fill out the form. Mm -hmm. And then you talk to 25 and you actually close 16 out of 25. And then you get people at the end, right? So, um, you then want to work out, okay, so first of all, you know, you're going to work out how much of the front end money can you actually liquidate on advertising? How much are you willing to, you know, put into advertising or do you need, do you, do you have to make profit on the front end or are you able to do what it takes to get them in and make the money off the six people that sign up at the end? Because, well, if you do 16 people at $400, that's $6,400 you'll make. Yeah. Um, I don't know what your advertising costs are going to be, but you know, for me, if I, if possible, I would look for a way to say, could I, could I, could I even spend that much in advertising just to get those 16 sales and, mm -hmm. and break even? If I could do that, I'd be, I'd be happy. I'll happily cool. spend $6,000 mm -hmm. to get $6,000 back. Yeah. Break even, but now I've got 16 people that I have potential to convert into a $400 a month program. So if you get if you get six at a retainer of $400, you know, then you're looking at $2,500 a month coming in. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know what your advertising will come to. Probably a lot less than that, but but just do a budget and say, right, what's the most I'm actually willing to spend to get these opt-ins and application forms. Mm. And the more you rate, the more you're able to spend and the more you're able yeah. to wait to get your money back, the more chance you're actually going to make your money back. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I'm willing to spend, spend to make it. So, so whoever can invest the most money and time to get the customer will always win the market. Because your competitors, yeah. they even tried something like this, and they were like, "I'm not paying six thousand dollars to get to get twenty application forms." And you'd be like, "Fine, I'll pay it all day long, baby, and I'll get all the clients, and they'll drop off the radar, right?" So, but realistically, what what would you pay for? What do you think you'll pay for a, a an opt in from Facebook? Um, I mean, I don't mind like five hundred to a thousand dollars, something like that. Well, what what would you usually spend to get one opt in? Uh, I'm pretty shit at Facebook, so um, I haven't used Facebook since I stopped group training like five years ago. Um, but I, I spent like three hundred dollars at a time last time previously to get okay. use ten leads or something like that. So maybe I don't know, like twenty bucks, maybe ten twenty leads. bucks an opt in. Yeah. So if you need to get fifty opt ins. As, as a target, like 50 people times 20 bucks, that's only a thousand dollars. Yeah. 20 bucks an opt-in, right? So that means if 50% if complete the form, you're paying $40 for a form. Yeah. Right. On average. Um, yeah. And then if, if you're getting on the phone with, so, you know, um, yeah. So if a thousand dollars gets you 50, a thousand dollars is getting you, uh, what do we say? Like tw 20 phone calls or something? Yeah. 25 phone calls, you know? So you're paying, 
yeah, you're paying $40, $50 for a phone call, basically, for an application form okay. phone call. Um, and then if you close one in three, 30%, yeah. then you're paying 40 times three, you're paying $120 a sale. So you're paying 120 bucks to make 400 back on the front. Okay. So That's if you think about, if you think about numbers like that and think, what could I, what would I actually, what would I be willing to spend to get one person to give me 400 bucks for this right now? Yeah. Right. Knowing that I'm going to convert at least five or six of them onto a long-term recurring program. Um, yeah. You know, I would happily spend $200 to make that sale. Yeah. For sure. And if you can afford, if you want 16 people times $200, that's, that's, that gives you a budget of $3,000. You could literally put into this in the next 10 days. So, is that, does that make, all make sense? Yeah, for sure. So do you, do you need me to send you the link to uh, like our, uh, the Evolve Stewart's gym again? With the face oh, would you mind doing that? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. That would be a rough sure. guideline for it. Yeah. Um, but something simple like that you want to set up, get it set up quickly and fast, just get it up and going, add yeah. landing page, application form, and then get on the phone and take the money and go for it. Like, yeah, 16, okay. 16 spots. I think we can do it, right? 16 spots in 10 days. Let's go for it. If you get 10, if you get eight, who cares, yeah. right? A good first, it's only a first test. You can run it again next month. Yeah. For sure. That sounds good. Sure. Uh, they need to see the pricing, right? On the, on the initial email? Or do they, it's do you just want to be? I mean, first? it's up to, well, it's up to you. If I'm going to put the price, it'll be on the Facebook ad, right? Um, okay. It's up to you because the diff, what happens is if you don't put the price, you'll get more people opting in. Yeah. And then, you might have yeah. more people to talk to, but then less people will buy because they'll be shocked by the price or whatever. Yeah, However, yeah. However, if you, if you put the price on there, you're going to get fewer people coming through, but the ones that do, yeah, there's like no sale. They're like, yeah, where do I, like, I'm here because I saw the price. Where do I, where do I start? So I always prefer to qualify before the fact. Um, because it's, you'll pay a bit more in advertising, but you'll save hours of time on the yes. phone and rejections. Yeah. And, and on the other hand, if you're someone that's really good at sales, then you can do the opposite because someone that's really good at sales can take an unqualified person and get the money anyway. So, you know, if you're not that person though, then that's not your strength. Don't try and play to it. I would say let the, let the, let the advertising do the qualification. Uh, put okay. a reminder on the form, on the application form to remind them, you know, there is an investment of this much. Yes. You know, are you willing to invest in your health and fitness and get this result? Uh, yep. And you want to put a, you want to put a, um, also put like a result, uh, a theme around it too. Don't just say 21 day challenge. It needs to be like result focused, like drop a dress size and 21 day drop a dress size or, bikini body transformation or Ooh, you know okay. it's probably something tangible like no one's going to pay 400 bucks for 21 days but they'll pay it to drop a dress size or for a bikini body transformation program mm. and that that theme what how you late how you package this product will be the deter determining factor of how much response you get mm. so if something like summer red is too is too uh, general it's better than 21 day challenge yeah. it's somewhat but, benefit but it's not specific benefit so it's up to you really and what you think would go market will will i think it's okay but just don't just don't okay. call it anything generic don't just say it's 21 days cool. of coaching yeah yeah for sure that's like nobody cares right there's no Make it themed, you know, themed to the time, like summertime is really good, bikini, summertime. Think of like, just what's the conversation, the first call we had, what's the conversation your clients in your prospects mind right now? What are the magazines saying to them, right? Get yeah. good headlines from like magazine covers, like Cosmopolitan or Women's Fitness, right? And like, what are they saying? Like, 
bikini body shred, summer body transformation, whatever. Those headlines are selling magazine covers. So look at their July, August issues. You can just do a Google search for you know, women's health, July cover, and um, you'll get some ideas. Cool. Cool, cool. All right, so as soon as that's ready to go, drop it in the Facebook group for us to look over. Yeah. Um, drop the ad, the lamp, you know, show us like the, 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 the screenshots and everything, and then we can give some feedback, and then you can, uh, well, launch it anyway, right? Don't, don't wait, because yeah. you haven't got time. Um, yeah, you've no. got to get it out there, and as it's up, getting feedback, show us, and if it's getting good results, in that time, then we won't change anything. But if it's like not going so well, we'll give you optimizations and improvements then that you can go back and change. Nice, nice. So I'm doing this, I'm doing a, a standalone program, but should I kind of hint that there's going to be an ongoing program after this? Not yet. Or should I just kind of keep this as a standalone? Not yet? Standalone, because, you know, okay. you want to... Well, because we don't, we don't want to commit over commit to a new program before we know there's a tested demand. You know, uh, it's like that, if one, if one or two people sign up, you know, it's like, mm, yeah, yeah. Um, so, and, and it's good because it's good in a way that you, you, you keep the, the back end reveal for later because you can actually make the upsell situational by being like in at the end of the first week, yeah. Be like, hey, girls, like, um, interesting question. So a lot of you, most of you reached out. Maybe no one reached out, but you can just say most of you reached out um, privately to me and said, what's going to happen after this 21 days? You know, I said, well, I didn't have any plans, but I've been thinking about it. And you've all had such great feedback. And you've all asked, how can we carry on working in these small private groups? And you know you love working, getting personal training without the cost of a one-to-one -one trainer, uh, and you love working together and the accountability it gives you and everything. So I'm thinking of the idea of what if we made this an ongoing thing? Who'd be interested in that? I'm gonna go and work on the prices and everything else, but I'm just wondering, like you know, it's been one week. If you did, if you had, a, if you had a program that gave you this month after month, like long term. What, you know, who'd be interested in everything and get some, just get some feedback off them. Right. And okay. But then you can come back for years later and say, right guys, I've got an offer for you based on what you've told me you've wanted. I've put this package together. Uh, we're going to take uh, eight people only for the first one. I've got two, two ongoing time slots. So I can take the 16 of you here. I can take eight of you. So this is like in start of week two of the challenge. You can then say, right, I'm only going to take eight spots long term. If, if already you know you would love to do this month on month, come and see me at the end and I'll, I'm going to give you an early bird offer. So if you're one of the first ones to commit to the long term program, I'm going to give you a special bonus or a special rate or whatever it might be. Um, and you'll be one of my very first clients on there. Um, but yeah, there's eight spots. So come and see me. And then suddenly there's like a little internal competition then, right? Hmm. Yeah. And that's cool. So you'll get four, three or four will come to you straight away and be like, give me one of those spots before those other bitches get one, right? And, and what happens at the end then is in the third week, if, if should, should more than eight want to sign up, will you just, you just say yes. And you say, you know what? Yeah, there's been so much demand. I've had to open up another time slot so we can, get, we can put more of you in. It's fine. People have very short-term memories, like don't worry about that. But that's assuming you have 16 and more than 50% want to go month to month. That would be insanely good, right? So by you saying there's only eight spots, yeah. it sounds to them like, oh, massive, that's only half of us. But to you, that's like, shit, if, eight, if half of you did it, that would be amazing. So you're like, it's not really scarcity to you, but it's scarcity to them. Uh, I think just my one concern that I had going into this was that uh, um, just time slots, I don't know what people want. Should I just, because I was going to solicit their advice was, or like. No, you, you don't know that. 
time slots. Just pick the you know the peak time slots that are most popular for your audience. Yeah. If it's busy professional okay. women, it's going to be what six seven at night, nine a.m. in the morning, maybe earlier yeah. in the morning. Depends. Well, look at what's busy right now. Um, or or ask maybe I don't know how much data you can get from your gym, but if you can ask, there'll be there'll be research online. Look at like. If you're looking at you're looking at 35 year old plus females, right? 35 to yeah. 45 professional women. Just yes. do some Google searches. Like, what are the best times of day for them, right? Or, or just look at your gym, or look at your previous clients. You'll know. Okay. Yeah, I I have a pretty good idea. Yeah, I was just gonna. I don't know why. I was just gonna solicit them for times and stuff. But uh, yeah, let's cut that out. Cool. Okay. Cool. So um, yeah, I will get you. Stuart's uh, link again. Sweet, thank you. So I'm sure I can find it. Uh, I'll send this to your uh, Facebook. Cool, cool. If you go through it, if you go through it though, yeah. Um, when you put the name into the box, put like put like just in testing or something like that, and then and then Stuart knows okay. it's you opt in to, to look at the form. Ah, okay, got it. Um, yeah, understood. And so put like just in testing, right? Because otherwise, if you don't do that, then my team are going to be emailing and phone calling you to book you in for a time slot. So <laughs> yeah. we'll be retargeting your app. They'll be on the phone <laughs> to get a sale out of you. So <laughs> gotcha. Awesome. All right, let's blow it up. Let's keep on top of it. Let's just 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 rough and ready. Let's just go for it. Um, I think this can work quite well. Don't be afraid to invest yeah. in it. Get yeah. it going. Um, Again, if only if only if fifty opt in and a twenty five fill out a form, you still got yeah. fifty phone numbers to call. Yeah. So you, if That's it's last correct. minute, you've got two three more spots to fill. You just get on the freaking phone with everyone. Hey, you opted in but didn't do the form. It's starting in two days. There's two spots left. Can we get you on? Do you want to talk about it? Right. Yeah. And you can and you can with your emails you've got going on as well. Um, you know, I'm sure you can tell your clients about it. I'm, sh I'm sure you'll fill up those spots pretty easily. Nice. Nice. That sounds good. Yeah. I'm excited. Nice. Awesome. Cool. Justin, thanks so much for your time. All right. I'll get some sleep and uh, we'll have a checkup yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. Sounds good. Thanks, Justin. Yeah.